Dennis wants to look at Facebook today. Beautiful play in Facebook today. All right, who had Facebook today, guys? Who played the Facebook play today? And then we had some some traders. Jose, you got the whale in Facebook? Beautiful. 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 Now, what's beautiful about, what's, what's super beautiful about Facebook, well, there's a variety of things. So let's go over this. You all know that I'm a big believer that you should narrow your stocks down by, by first ha pulling out those stocks that have a narrow state. So look, the 20 is here. The 200 is there. That is a wide state. A narrow state is when they are very close together. All right? So you got it. we've got a really narrow state in Facebook this morning. All right? Now, Facebook opens right in the best location possible, which is just above the narrow state. If it opened down here and produced a red, that would be a perfect open as well, just below the narrow state. But Facebook opens just above the narrow state and gives you a green bar. That's beautiful. All right. Now let's say you bought into this bar or you bought above the high of that bar. That's fine. All right. Where is your stop supposed to be? Somewhere where? You're supposed to have a maximum stop because if you stop out below the bar, you're stopping out right at your greatest help, right? That's not smart. The 200 is your greatest help. So you must get below that 200 using a maximum loss per trade. Now there's a mistake if you just simply say, I'm just going to put my stop under the 200 because the 200 is a zone. It is not a skinny line as the chart would have you believe. So instead of guessing where under you should be, you should have something that's basically easy and consistent. My maximum loss per trade. What is it? All right. Okay. And so your stop is somewhere under based on maximum. Your maximum loss per trade. And the rest is history. You know, you can add to the play there or add to the play there once you take out a red bar. Okay? You all know that the object is to try to get a whale. You're going to take profit somewhere along the way here. If you keep something in, move your stop to break even. Let the stock pull back on you as long as the pullback stays where? As long as the pullback stays where? Stays in the upper 50% of the move, right? So cut that move in half. The pullback stays inside the upper 50%. All right? Okay? Here is your mandatory add. Boom. Moves up. Now, so here's how the trade goes. Enter. Let's say two lots. Stop. All right. Let's say you add here one. Now you got three lots. Take profits on one. Move stop to break even. All right. Let stop pull back. All right. Bull 180 signal here. Add one. 
you need lift before you adjust again. Lift, you get lift, okay? Now you can adjust your stop under the pivot, okay? And new high gives you the right to take profits on whale complete. See how there wasn't a moving average stop there? There's no moving average stop there, right? Okay. And so there are some nuances here that we should cover, though. There are some nuances we should cover, though. You see this? You see this bar here? I don't want you buying next to a fat bar. All right, so let's say you got a buy signal right there, but you're too close to a fat bar, so you're going to skip any buy signal that is next to a fat bar of the opposite color, and you're going to take the next one. I'm going to repeat that. You are not going to take a buy signal if it's next to a fat red bar. You're going to skip that one and take the next signal. Tell me you understand this. You got it? All right. So if you got a, if you, if you got a buy signal there, you're going to skip that one because it's next to a fat bar, and you're going to take the next one. All right? There's your next one. Boom. Okay. If you, if we take this same example, let me show you the perfect example of skipping the buy signal next to, right next to a fat red bar and how it's a high failure rate. Watch this. I'm going to change this time frame to the 15 minute. Now look, big move up, pull back, but look at how fat that bar is. Now look at the buy signal. See the buy signal? And you're failing. You're going to skip this one and take the next one. You guys got it? Make sense? All right. All right. Uh, da, 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 let me grab this question here. Okay, Gabrielle is ask is saying is asking. All right, Oliver, please. When you say move your stop to break even, is it? at the entry price or is it at your calcul? I, I see what you're saying. So break even stops. Is it the break even based on all of your ads and everything together? What, how do you how do you arrive at break even? So good question. So guys look let's go over this trade. Let's go over the Facebook trade and let's cover your break even stop. Okay? Let's say, for instance, you buy right toward the end of bar one. It's like the last 15 seconds left in the two-minute period. So you're sort of buying it, let's say, one minute and 45 seconds. Boom. Two lots stop under the 200 somewhere with a maximum stop, right? Okay. Now you decide that, whoa, this stock is breaking above a red bar. I'm going to add, so, okay, so now you've got three, three lots. Now you take profits, let's say, up here. Let's say you take profits right there, and you take profits on one because you don't want to sell more than 50%, right? So two would be more than 50%. I'm selling one, all right? Now, your gain is on one lot. 
the worst case, you're going to move your stop to break even. But which one did you sell? Did you sell one from the two or did you sell the most recent lot? You answer, answer for me. Some of you know this. That's right. Let me see. No, it's not FIFO. You got it mixed up. It's LIFO. Last in, first out. You're selling this one. See? You're always sell, guys, listen, you're always selling the last entry. I'm going to repeat that. You're always selling the last entry. You're always getting rid of the last entry. You work backwards. You're not selling one of the first ones. You're selling the last one. Okay? This is what you're doing in your mind, Eck, okay? You're selling the last one. So now, where is break even? You see this? Where is break even now? It's your original entry, right? Because you got rid of the second one. That's break even. So that clears that up. Now, some of you are saying, guys, this is what I want you to do in your mind. Your platform is going to say something different, all right? But the professional traders use a LIFO system in their mind. Now, let me tell you why this works, why this, why this is the best, because it will stop you from taking profits too soon. Some traders are in the habit of snatching at their roses too quickly. They let their weeds grow, but they don't let their roses grow. Soon as they see a rose, they snatch it out of the ground and don't let it, their roses grow. This is a typical problem. All right? So one trick is to always believe that you are selling your last entry because if your profit take is too close to the last entry that should be an automatic check for you why am i taking profit so close to my last buy all right so if you buy here boom all right stock moves up you buy two there stock moves up and look now, you buy here, you add here, boom. So now you add there, one. And you want to take profits there. This is mighty close to that one. Why are you taking, if you're selling the last one, why are you in and out so fast? Does that make sense? It, it checks you on taking profits too early. You should not be taking profits anywhere near your last entry. You see what I'm saying? If you're close to your last entry, I guarantee you, you're taking profits too soon. All right? But if you assume that you're taking profits from that one, you won't get checked. Because the profit from this one is far enough, but it's not far enough from that one. And you need to be far from all of them. 